Right guys, this is slightly different to normal in that I hadn't actually set out to capture the footage you're about to see. Now it's mid-April and I've already started my tench fishing campaign for the spring. I've been in the uh, swim for a couple of days now, I've caught plenty of fish and I've already got some lovely footage of the tench feeding over the previous few days. Now here I'm dropping the camera off to try and capture some more. I've highlighted the maggots left behind from where my feeder was and initially I thought that I must have cast this rod out after the tench had cleared the spot of bait and moved on. Now if we let the camera roll on, you can see this line of uneaten bait just there. Now there's plenty of pellets among this so it's not come from the feeder on the retrieve and can only really be from the tench avoiding the line. Now that means there was still plenty of bait out there when I cast the rig out but the tench have avoided my rig due to the line lay. Now as we roll on we're drifting across the spot looking to drop the camera on the edge of the baited area and we can see a second line of bait from the second rod which the tench have managed to avoid. You can also see how clear the rest of it is so although I caught plenty of fish and thought I was doing all right I'd been properly done. Now I have the camera rigged up on a rod so once I got it in place I headed back to the bank to drop it off and collect some bait. In that six minutes already a couple of tench were cruising back over the spot. This is another ten minutes later after I put some bait out and you can see how quickly they're on it so they really were feeding confidently yet still they were avoiding that line. In this footage I'm fishing at around 40 yards with a maggot feeder heli rig and I'm using light bobbins. I'm not taking a great deal of care to let the line sink as I'm fishing reasonably tight to a bite detection no matter which way the fish runs. My assumption was that the light bobbins and the distance meant that the line, certainly at least over the baited area, would be pretty flat on the lake bed. Obviously I was wrong. Now this is fairly early in the season and the weed growth is still low so certainly at this time of the year at least it's definitely worth thinking about your line lay in more detail. Maybe using flying bat leads, fluorocarbon main lines, lead core or something along those lines to get your line as hard on the deck as possible as I'm sure looking at this footage I could have caught more fish. Now this has moved on around another 10 minutes and you can see that the fish are feeding really hard now just out of shot until the left of screen. You can also see how much more turbid that water is getting and how that has reduced the visibility yet still the tension managing to detect the line. So it really does highlight although we're all already familiar with how important line lay is that it's important to pay really close attention and to manage your line lay to improve your catch rates.